Almost 60 counties in South Dakota are included in a disaster proclamation that was issued back in March. Today, Governor Kristi Noem and U.S. Senator John Thune both expressing concern about additional financial help that still hasn't arrived. We still have high water levels. We have many communities that are still struggling and probably more to come. So we're doing due diligence to work through our county emergency management directors and local leaders to make sure that every community has the right resources they need. Getting the bill through Congress is really important. And we can get that assistance out there to help with uh, infrastructure needs. And you know, local governments are really having a hard time with roads and bridges and things like that. But it could be a few days before the House again considers relief. Lawmakers are due back in Washington sometime next week. Governor Noem also focusing today on the potential for new flooding throughout the Rushmore state, sending out a statement saying, quote, while the core officials have told us that they are confident in their ability to manage the Missouri River system, we remain vigilant and proactive. Governor Nome's worry uh, comes as releases from Gavin's Point Dam are scheduled to increase to 75,000 cubic feet per second this weekend. The Missouri already has topped its banks in several places. And at Dakota Dunes Country Club, the eighth hole is now partially underwater. As the Missouri continues to rise, property owners in the dunes are encouraged to bring valuables from lower floors to upper rooms and plug drains to prevent sewer backup. The Dunes Community Association also asking for members to limit water and sanitary sewer usage. Downriver here in Sioux City, the Missouri has also breached its banks. As you can see from the video behind me earlier today, the water lapping over the shoreline. The Riverfront Trail and the Big Sioux River Trail are closed tonight due to rising water. Jollies on the river also closing because of the rising water. Meanwhile, next door, Crave and the Hilton Garden Inn Hotel are still dry. And while water is creeping closer to both properties, management tells us they're confident they'll be okay. We don't feel like it's going to reach our patio, so as long as the roads stay open, so will we. We're watching it hourly, but, you know, right now it, we don't feel that it's going to be, you know, any affect us any. All here at the hotel, we're open for business. That's Dana Livings, the general manager at the Hilton Garden Inn. The Missouri River is forecast to crest on Sunday now at 30 and a half feet.